Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, the penultimate video in this uh, playlist um, when we're looking at the um, the topic in the AQA GCSE computer science course it's all about query methods um, about SQL and how to do certain things in SQL so that's very very exciting um, well depends depends how you look at it um, but I'd recommend you check out the last few videos all about databases um, because some things may be confusing if you don't already know um, what, what we were talking about so um, let's first look what a query is obviously it's in the topic title so very important to know what it is um, it's a question posed to the database obviously this is a query in a database scenario a database context um, and this is done using SQL and SQL stands for structured query language and it's it's a programming language designed to manage late, uh, man, ma yeah, to manage data within a relational database again we talk about uh, the last topic especially is all about relational databases um, so the, the exam board requires you to know um, three, uh, three um, sort of um, statements in SQL um, so we'll look at them now um, there's, you know, SQL is a complete language so there's loads and loads of statements you can use um, but fortunately the example doesn't require you to know most of the hard ones so these are fairly simple um, and by the way they can ask you in the exam to just you know, just do this. It'll just give you a scenario and ask you to d write some of this code. So it's important you know it. Don't just assume that they won't ask you because they probably will, and it probably worth three or four marks at least. So um, you can select and fetch data using SQL from the database using the select and the from clause. So this is an example. Um, everything in this video in uh, italics and in Calibri font will be. A, um, a section of SQL code. So this retrieves all of the information from table one. So it selects an asterisk in SQL stands for it represents everything. So select everything from table one. This is the table name. We know in relational databases there are multiple tables and this is the name of that table. Um, another example is where you actually not select everything, you're selecting just several columns. So um, we, we're talking about columns here, not rows. So this is selecting the column name, name, column name ID and the column name DOB from the table one um, and like I say it retrieves the data from these columns and the columns will be shown in this order so it will show you the um, the data you're requesting from table one uh, with, with the name column first and its data, the ID and its data and the date of birth and its data like that so if you wanted it the other way around you just have to switch them in this statement um, so it can be used in conjunction with the WHERE clause if you actually want to um, specify the query slightly um, slightly more, well, make it more specific um, so you can use operators, boolean operators that we looked at right at the start of the course um, to do this so we're doing exactly the same so we're retrieving all the data from these columns except that we're only retrieving the data where the ID um, values are not equal to 10. So they'll, this request will not, there will be no um, ID values that are equal to 10 in this um, table that it gives you. Um, and this, the, the, um, the two greater and less than signs equal, uh, together means not equal to, which isn't actually the same in most languages, but I would recommend you know that because they could trick you by asking you about it. Um, so I'd recommend you know that, but you can use any other boolean oper operator like more than, less than, equal to, um, yeah, I can't really think of any more, but um, it'd be like that. That just specifies it slightly more. Now I'm going to look at how you'd add data um, to a table using SQL. So I only really want a statement for doing this, and it's the insert into statement. Um, so this um, inserts the value Jim into the name column in table one, but nothing is inserted for the column ID and date of birth. So um, null in SQL literally just means there's nothing in that field. So maybe for Jim, you don't actually know the ID or his date of birth, um, so you would just leave it null in this case, or not actually spec. Oops, or not actually specify the column. But I'm just doing this as an example. Um, so obviously, um, Jim is added to name and Noel is added to ID and date of birth. Again, it's in the order. The order is important, and it inserts into table one. So now to do this, um, and also you can edit data using SQL. So, for example, if you um, if you then real there, uh, you didn't know at this stage. Um, the ID and the date of birth, but if you know it later on, you can update it using the update statement. Um, so we're updating table one here, and we're setting the ID as 51, and the date of birth 
is uh, 12, 12th of June 1985 and um, we, we know we're selecting for correct row by we're using uh, the, the pre-entered uh, gym at, under the name column to select the correct row which is quite important to use so we're using the where clause again in this example so like I say this edits the data in table 1 by setting the ID and the date of birth field where gym is the name to 51 and the date respectively I think this is fairly simple um, lots of videos and lots of um, resources on the internet about SQL make sure you learn it maybe practice a bit um, if you can get your hands on uh, the software and um, yeah it should be good to go so um, yeah thanks a lot for watching and um, I'll see you next time